New Ford Focus, just like every other Ford, has to pass the extreme climate test before it can go on sale. Ford won't put it into production unless it works perfectly at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees centigrade, right up to a sweltering 55 degrees C. So where does the company go to find such extreme conditions? Why, Essex in England, of course. Hi, I'm Rick Franks, and today we're inside Ford's multi-million pound environmental test laboratory at the Dunton Engineering and Research Centre. Behind me are a series of soak rooms. Inside those soak rooms, it's freezing, absolutely bitter. Today, we've come to see just how well New Focus copes with extreme climatic conditions. Behind those doors, there's a five-door hatchback, and it's been super chilled to minus 30 degrees C for three days. Before we can take a look though, we better put some proper clothing on. <laughs> it's really, really freezing in here. Look at the car, it's covered in a thick mantle of ice. Now a person wouldn't last more than a couple of minutes in here without specialist clothing on. Even with all this gear on, I'm still freezing. Not as cold as the car though. Touch the bodywork with a bare hand and your skin will stick to it. Temperatures this low play havoc with the cooling system, lubricants, battery and electronics. So will it even unlock? Never mind start. Now, that is impressive. The focus fires up first time. So let's see how the heating system copes. It takes just a few minutes to warm up the interior and Ford's instant clear windscreen melts the ice in next to no time. Right, we've proved that Arctic conditions aren't a problem for New Focus. What about extreme heat? Here at the lab, Ford can raise the temperature to plus 55 degrees centigrade. Now that's just three degrees less than the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth. The people in white coats can also make it horribly humid too, apparently up to 100% humidity. So, I better get changed again. Right, it is baking in here. I am seriously uncomfortable. There's a blast of hot air coming straight onto me. It's not nice at all. Now this chamber is designed to test the engine cooling system and also the air conditioning or climate control system too. Now let's be honest, not many owners are going to encounter conditions like this. But it's nice to know that if you were to accidentally drive into a rainforest, your focus could cope. The environmental test laboratory is amazing. Ford can adjust the atmospheric pressure in these chambers to simulate altitudes of up to 3,700 metres or 12,000 feet. The wind tunnels here are capable of creating speeds up to 225 kilometres an hour. That's 140 miles per hour in old money. Ford can literally recreate any climatic condition with a flick of a few switches. Of course, New Focus has also been tested rigorously in real world extreme climatic conditions. It's been to Death Valley, it's been tested in the Arctic Circle, it's even been to a tropical rainforest. But if you want really, really terrible conditions, there's no better place on Earth than here at Dunton's Environmental Test Laboratory. And this New Focus works very well in this environment. <laughs>